Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 138. So this one we are fixing a very common problem that I think a lot of Webflow developers have had to deal with. And that is anchor or section links with sticky or fixed nav bars. The problem with that is that typically what's going to happen is it scrolls down to the section, but it lines up the top of your viewport up here with the top of the section. So if you have a sticky nav bar such as this, let's say it was supposed to go to the top of this line. It would go something like this, but you don't want that. You want them to be able to see that. So first of all, I'm going to show you how it behaves so you can figure out if you want to add it to your project. Then I'm going to show you how to implement it, which is very simple. Just two steps shouldn't take more than a minute. And then I'm going to explain to you how it does that just so you can make sure that it fits into your project well. So first things first, let's take a look at how it works. So if I go down here to section one, for example, as we can see, this is visible, even though I'm adding the anchor link to this section. If I go to section two, as we can see again, if I go to section three, as we can see again. Now, the only other thing that I want to mention with this is that if you refresh or get linked to the page, there is a little slight bit where you can see it scrolling up sometimes. Let's say if I go like, this, you might be able to see it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It is very subtle though, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Anyways, now let me show you how to actually implement it. So first things first, here we are in Webflow and you are going to need the script for member script 138. You can see it here in the demo project. I have it in the page settings before the body tag. That being said, you are more than likely going to want to include it in the site-wide settings. I just put it here for easier copying. Um, the reason for that is because if you have it on a whole bunch of different pages, then, you know. So anyways, you're going to want to add that in. And if you're watching this from the member stack site, you can get it in the next tab. If you're watching this from YouTube, then go to the link in the description. That'll take you to the page where you can get the code. The only other thing you are going to need to do is add an attribute to your nav. So as we can see here, I have the attribute ms-code-scroll-offset, and then the value is 20. And what is happening is basically this. The script by default is going to, let's say it's the top of this section, it would scroll it down to here. But you can add a number. If you just say zero, for example, it's gonna do this. Then if you add, let's say 20, it is going to do something like this, like what I have. You can add 100, it's gonna be something like this, whatever you want that offset to be, whatever works for you. But by default, the script is going to calculate the height of your nav bar and scroll it and match it up just like that. So basically what the script does is, first of all, Webflow itself actually has some strange sort of behavior with smooth scrolling, which powers a lot of its default functions. Um, so the script is just blocking that completely. It's setting it up its own smooth scrolling. It's calculating the height of your nav bar plus whatever offset you add in the attribute value. And it is scrolling down to that point. So that is how the script works. If you have a lot of anchor links and your site is very dependent on them, I would just recommend publishing it and testing everything out in staging before you move on to live just in case, just because this is a brand new, at least at this time script, make sure everything is working good. But this should be a very easy solution to all of your anchor links and nav bar woes. I hope this helped you. I'll talk to you soon. If you have any questions, just let me know in the member stack 2.0 Slack in the member scripts chat channel. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.